Section 86 of Poems by Kerr, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte M. Lee and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. The Three Guides by Anne Bronte Spirit of Earth, thy hand is chill. I felt its icy clasp, and shuddering I remember still that stony-hearted grasp. Thine eye bids love and joy depart, Oh, turn its gaze for me. It presses down my shrinking heart. I will not walk with thee. Wisdom is mine, I've heard thee say. Beneath my searching eye all mist and darkness melt away. Phantoms and fables fly. Before me truth can stand alone, the naked solid truth. And man matured by words will own, if I am shunned by youth. Firm is my tread and sure though slow my footsteps never slide and he that follows me shall know i am the surest guide thy boast is vain but were it true that thou couldst safely steer life's rough and devious pathway through such guidance i should fear how could i bear to walk for i with eyes to earthward prone or trampled weeds in miry clay and sand and flinty stone never the glorious view to greet of hill and dale and sky to see that nature's charms are sweet or feel the heaven is nigh if in my heart arose a spring a gush of thought divine at one stagnation thou wouldst bring with that cold touch of thine if glancing up i sought to snatch but one glimpse of the sky my baffled gaze would only catch thy heartless cold gray eye if to the breezes wandering near i listened eagerly and deemed an angel's tongue to hear that whispered hope to me that heavenly music would be drowned in thy harsh droning voice nor inward thought nor sight nor sound might my sad soul rejoice dull as i near unheard by thee the still small voice of heaven Thine eyes are dim and cannot see the help that God has given. There is a bridge o'er to every flood, which thou canst not perceive, a path through every tangled wood, but thou wilt not believe. Striving to make thy way by force, toil spent and bramble torn, thou'lt fell the tree that checks thy course, and bursts through briar and thorn, and, pausing by the river's side, Poor reasoner thou wilt deem, By casting pebbles in this tide, To cross the swelling stream. Right through the flinty rock thou'lt try, Thy toilsome way to bore, Regardless of the pathway nigh, That would conduct thee o'er. Not only art thou then unkind, And freezing cold to me, But unbelieving, deaf and blind, I will not walk with thee. Spirit of pride, thy wings are strong, thine eyes like lightning shine, ecstatic joys to thee belong, and powers almost divine. But tis a false, destructive blaze within those eyes I see. Turn hence their fascinating gaze, I will not follow thee. Coward and fool, thou mayest reply. Walk on the common sod, go, trace with timid foot and eye, the steps by others trod. Tis best the beaten path to keep, The ancient faith to hold, To pasture with thy fellow sheep, And lie within the fold. Cling to the earth, poor groveling worm, Tis not for thee to soar, Against the fury of the storm, Amid the thunder's roar. There's glory in that daring strife, Unknown, undreamt by thee. There's speechless rapture in the life Of those who follow me. Yes, I have seen thy votaries off, Upheld by thee their guide, In strength and courage mount aloft The steepy mountainside. I have seen them stand against the sky, And gazing from below, Beheld thy lightning in their eye, Thy triumph on their brow. Oh, I have felt what glory then, What transport must be theirs, So far above their fellow men, above their toils and cares inhaling nature's purest breath 
her riches round them spread, the wide expanse of earth beneath, heaven's glories overhead. But I have seen them helpless, dashed, down to a bloody grave, and still thy ruthless eyes flashed, thy strong hand did not save. I have seen some o'er the mountain's brow, sustained a while by thee, o'er rocks of ice and hills of snow, bound fearless, wild, and free. Bold and exultant was their mien, while thou didst cheer them on. But evening fell, and then, I ween, their faithless guide was gone. Alas, how fared thy favorites then, lone, helpless, weary, cold! Did ever wanderer find again the path he left of old? Where is their glory? Where the pride that swelled their hearts before? Where now the courage that defied the mightiest tempest's roar? What shall they do when night grows black, when angry storms arise? Who now will lead them to the track thou taughtest them to despise? Spirit of pride, it needs not this to make me shun thy wiles. Renounce thy triumph and thy bliss, thy honors and thy smiles. Bright as thou art and bold and strong, that fierce glance wins not me, and I abhor thy scoffing tongue, I will not follow thee. Spirit of faith, be thou my guide, O clasp my hand in thine, and let me never quit thy side, thy comforts are divine. Earth calls thee blind, misguided one, but who can show like thee, forgotten things that have been done, and things that are to be? Secrets concealed from nature's ken, Who like thee can declare, Or who like thee to erring men God's holy will can bear? Pride scorns thee for thy lowly mien, But who like thee can rise Above this toilsome, sordid scene, Beyond the holy skies? Meek is thine eye, and soft thy voice, But wondrous is thy might, To make the wretched soul rejoice, to give the simple light, and still to all that seek thy way this magic power is given. E'en while their footsteps press the clay, their souls ascend to heaven. Danger surrounds them, pain and woe, their portions here must be. But only they that trust thee know what comfort dwells with thee. Strength to sustain their drooping powers, and vigor to defend, Thou pole star of my darkest hours, affliction's firmest friend. Day does not always mark our way, night shadows oft appall. But lead me, and I cannot stray. Hold me, I shall not fall. Sustain me, I shall never faint. How rough soe'er may be, my upward road, nor moan nor plaint, shall mar my trust in thee. Narrow the path by which we go. And oft it turns aside From pleasant meads where roses blow And peaceful waters glide Where flowery turf lies green and soft And gentle gales are sweet To where dark mountains frown aloft Hard rocks distress the feet Deserts beyond lie bleak and bare And keen winds round us blow But if thy hand conducts me there The way is right, I know I have no wish to turn away, my spirit does not quail. How can it, while I hear thee say, press forward and prevail? Even above the tempest's swell, I hear thy voice of love. Of hope and peace I hear thee tell, and that blessed home above. Through pain and death I can rejoice, if but thy strength be mine. Earth hath no music like thy voice. Life owns no joy like thine. Spirit of faith, I'll go with thee. Thou, if I hold thee fast, Wilt guide, defend, and strengthen me, And bear me home at last. By thy help all things I can do, In thy strength all things bear. Teach me, for thou art just and true. Smile on me, thou art fair. End of section 86